Uh, hello everybody, this is Kobe from Balsamic and today we're going to do a live wireframing session with my friend Kirsten, who lives in Rome but is American. Um, she has a project that uh, she wants to, she needs some help to put it on paper um, and so uh, we're going to try to see what we can accomplish in about an hour. So Kirsten, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what your project is about? Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten, known here in Italy as Kiki because Kirsten doesn't quite roll off the Italian tongue. Um, I'm a born and raised New Yorker. I've been living in Rome for almost 12 years now. And I started a business uh, about eight years ago, which is for pregnant women and breastfeeding mothers. And those are stores and meeting places. Um, and I am now evolving into the next phase of that by trying to bring all of the information and contact with medical professionals for our moms into an online platform. So creating a space where women who are pregnant, new mothers, need a little bit of counseling, help, visit with a pediatrician, can do that, find them online with medical professionals who speak English and uh, who uh, we trust and know are good people. Uh, so anyways, uh, what would you call the idea if it had a title? Um, it actually has, a, we've got a, do a domain name. Should we oh, use yeah, that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's called belliesabroad.com. Okay, so this is the bellies.com website. We'll start with that, right? All right. So, okay, so this is the pitch is, it's a resource, tell me again. Uh, it is a platform through which uh, women can connect with medical professionals, right. either through booking online appointments or uh, booking in-person visits. Okay, uh, that's nice. If we were to compare it to something that already exists, um, comparing it to something that already exists with a format that I like, would well, that be a good way to go? Up. Okay, uh, pager.com. Okay, pager.com for moms, for moms abroad. Okay, exactly. So I've never heard of pager.com, so I'm gonna go look at it right now just quickly. You can see my screen, right? Okay. Yep. So this is oh very nice. Sick app is before. So it's an app for your phone and what do you do? Urgent care. Uh this Yep. In New York. And you can uh, chat, talk, or book a visit with a uh, healthcare professional chat, in New York. Talk or visit, that's nice. Okay. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, so, so the focus is just like Pager, but for, uh, for expats. Exactly, with the ability for um, online video consult consultation, which Pager okay, does not Okay, so offer. it would be uh, chat, talk, video, uh, book, an appointment. Right, those are the, those are the thing, the, the main tasks that people can accomplish on the site. Yes. Nice. There will also be an area for content as well, but right. I think that's probably secondary. Okay, so that's good. Um, we'll call this brief. Now, while I'm here, let's do a site map. Uh, just a, a simple site map to start seeing what, what we're going to need here. So, all right, there's going to be a... Uh, actually, I'll, I'll start with that. So there's going to be a uh, home page uh, for people not, lit, not logged in, right? I suppose people are going to log in, right? Or no? Um, yes, they will, they will right. log in, yes. Okay, so on the home page there, there will be a uh, sign up page. Am I doing it right? I'm doing it wrong. 
Sorry, I don't remember how to do my own tool. <laughs> oh, it's it's two little bars. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm coming. There we go. Okay, so there's going to be a sign up page and then the usual like uh, uh, change settings. Uh, you know, uh, account account settings. Let's call it. Um, how um, how are you going to make money? Okay, how are we going to make money? Um, there is going to be a percentage of each visit booked that will uh, go to us. And we are also going to have, um, I haven't decided what we're gonna call it, but uh, just for fun, let's call it the Hot Mama Club, um, that mothers can sign up for a sort of premium membership. And what that membership will offer them will be access to all of our video and um, uh, article contents, downloads, as well as offers from uh, other brands that we that I have worked with over the past years for discounts and other sort of fun incentives. Okay. All right, that's good. So there's going to be that account settings includes, um, but so to sign up, uh, it's free, right? Because you're making money from the from the yep. um, from the provider side. So really, the sign-up page is two. It's uh, uh, what do we call it? Mom and provider, because there's going to be a, a, a page yep. for the um, um, for the doctors to sign up, right? Because um, uh, they're, yes. if they're going to have, a, they're probably going to have a calendar or something, to, to, right? They, they have to add themselves to the list of the available doctors, right? Exactly, yeah. Right, right, okay. So there's gonna be sign up depending whether you're a, um, you're a mom or a provider. Okay, so account setting. Well, for, it'd be more. Sorry, go ahead. That's okay. Uh, for doctors, it would be more sign in as opposed to sign up, but I suppose for our mothers, they would sign in or sign up. All right, because uh, the doctors, you sign them up from an admin UI. Yes. Okay. Add doctor. Okay. Uh, sign up for premium. This will probably be. So, actually, the account settings is not here. It's you get to it after you sign in. Right. So okay. So classic sign up, and then in on your home page when you um, when you first uh, go in, you have an you log in, and you have a you have different things you can do. Right. So one is I need help right now, which can tell you to chat, video, talk, and then book an appointment right and then there is the account settings we looked at and then there is also um, content right does that make sense to you sorry I lost you there for a second is there's after the so this the is after you log setting. in as a mom yeah what do you see you, you probably see a way to get to your settings Mm -hmm. You see a way to do one of these things. This is kind of book an appointment, book an online appointment. Um, yeah, those. Uh, right. Yep. And then you were saying that you could possibly, you could probably have some other content like, uh, you know, if you're a member, you can see like discounts and stuff. Exactly. Or videos. Download our birth course, our right. birth uh, plan in Italian or English. Right. So I'll move this down. So this is actually for homepage for uh, we'll call it moms logged in. Moms not logged in. 
Okay, because the doctor is going to need a UI, a, a, a page as well. But uh, once they log in, they're going to need to see something as well, right? Uh, yes. So let's put it here. Um, home page for doctor. Or maybe doctor is not, is not the right word. Uh, Medical, uh, healthcare provider. Okay. Provider, let's call it provider. Shorter. And so what... Just to uh, just to talk about it for a second, what what do they see when they log in? They being doctor. Yeah. Uh, the doctor would see uh, appointment request calendar. Right, and they probably have a profile page. How do how do people pick a doctor? To get do yes, they get to pick a doctor? to do profile pages where we okay. will have a few midwives, we will have a couple of gynecologists where there'll be a nice cute little photo and something to make them human beings. Okay, so I added a page called uh, uh, Provider Profiles for moms and a way for uh, providers to edit their profile. Realistically, we would probably end up doing that for them since... Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll move it down. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. Actually. And uh, provider. And then provider. Okay. That's very nice. What are we missing? Look at all the pages uh, we have to design already. I'm sorry? Look at all the pages we have to design already. I know, seriously, you're kind of scaring me now. <laughs> um, because I have such a small screen, it's it's uh, hard for me to see each one of these. Um, well, uh, this I don't know if this is going to scare you, but we've got to do this in two languages, Paldi. Oh, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. The, the language switching is something that, you know, every page will, will okay, well, well, we'll add it as a requirement. I don't think it changes the design, though. It'll probably just be a little toggle, a little, you know, language chooser thing that changes the whole page, but the structure remains the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so exactly. we're just going to, uh, um, you know, I'll give you an example of what I mean. Uh, we do it on one of our website, uh, UX. We do it on the Milk Bar website. Oh, so this is kind of the standard. Now it's in German, but I can go here and say, right, right. And so the pages are really the same, but um, right, exactly, yeah, just the text. Okay, well, so yeah, we will uh, we will make sure to add that um, requirement uh, uh, language switcher. Oh. Is that the technical term, language switch? Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, <laughs> I've studied for many years. I know these things, trust me. Uh, anyways, okay, let me save this thing before... Well, everything is also always auto-saved, but um, I'll put it on. Okay, so what should we do next? Uh, is this... Is this a good representation of your idea um, for the website? Because there's also the app. How do you how do you envision people using this? Desktop, or um, mobile, both, uh, both, and it's it's hard to know uh, which will end up being our most used. Um, I have a feeling because they're going to be new moms. Uh, we might end up with more mobile devices, being that the chance that new moms actually have to sit down at a computer to do something is somewhat minimal. All right. Okay, so, um, so mobile first. Now the question is, when you do, when you think of mobile is, should it be a website that works even when it's small? You know, it's called, that means that's called responsive design, but uh, or should it be a native application uh, for uh, you know mobile uh, platform? The latter is way more expensive to build. Uh, well, I mean not necessarily. Now the the price is going down because there's all these frameworks that help you do things. But um, 
but it could potentially be more powerful, meaning that uh, if it's just a website, you might not be able to do a video chat right there. You know, we have to investigate that. Um, anyways, uh, that's more of a technical thing. I think it's a little too early to to uh, to think about that. It, it's I think at this point, it's helpful to design the ideal user experience first. Uh, and then, uh, and then see the trade-offs can can happen later. But first, let's pretend that anything is possible. Okay. Uh, the world is. Important. It might be. It might be. It might be too uh, too expensive. But when I design things, I like to uh, try to forget uh, technical limitations, at least at first, uh, and really strive to go to. The best possible user experience that we can think okay. of. Okay. Okay. So today, what would you like to uh, to do? Should we tr should we do mobile first? Should, because since it's uh, it might be the eighty percent. Uh, well, in speaking with friends, we had thought of doing a web app, which should theoretically do two birds, one stone, right. but uh, you're smarter than I no, am. No, that's fine, listening. that's fine. Uh, um, but should we, um, should we design with a browser as the background or with a phone as the background? Let's go phone because that's probably okay. a bit more. Uh, it will uh, put some limits on us. That would be good to know. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that idea. So, um, actually, uh, thinking about it, here we have. Uh, we need. We need something. I mean, this is more of a marketing page, right? Um, the home page for people who are not logged in. It needs to describe mm -hmm. what it is, and 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 then ideally get people to sign up. So um, maybe we start with that one? Sure. All right. Hey, uh, is this more or less what you expected from today before we start so far? Um, I, I really had no idea what to do. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. 